It's Travel Michigan. I'm Dave Lorenz, along with George Zimmerman. And George, uh, we've come to the last segment already. It always just, the time just flies by. It, it does. When, when you're, you're having when, fun. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what we're having? I was afraid of what you might say. <laughs> I know. Thanks for filling in there. Filled in the gap. Yes. So next we're heading over to Muskegon, one of our favorite areas of the state, to talk to Bob Lukens. He's the Community Development Director for Muskegon uh, and the Convention Bureau there. And to talk about, really... Uh, great winter activities uh, in Muskegon. So, Bob, I guess where where would you have us start? Well, I think one of the great th- places to start is the Winter Sports Complex. Um, uh, it's a great place to go when the snow is on the ground, and even when the snow isn't on the ground. There's trails all through the uh, complex, but uh, it's particularly great when the snow is falling or has fallen. We have a luge there. There are lighted skating trails and uh, uh, snowshoeing and other events uh, and festivals that are going on there. There's a new festival actually coming there um, January 26th, Saturday, January 26th, and it's called Party in Your Parka. It's actually a cel- <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of we, funny. It's, we like it's, that. It, yeah. It's a celebration of Michigan's 176th birthday, and there will be many, many outdoor activities happening there, including an art fair, and then uh, the World Snurfing Classic at 1 p.m. Uh, that'll be happening at the Blockhouse, which is just down the uh, scenic drive from the Winter Sports Complex. And as you may or may not know, snurfing was invented in Muskegon, and snurfing went on to become snowboarding. Ah. Uh, so uh, they're bringing back the snurfer. There's actually a manufacturer here in Muskegon that makes them again, and um, they're bringing the World Snurfing Classic back at the Blockhouse Hill at 1 p.m. on uh, January 26th. That's cool. Yeah, so w- no, what is a snurfer, for those who don't know, like me? It, it looks like a snowboard without the bindings. Okay. And there's a rope attached to it, and people kind of... Uh, it's very slim, similar to a skateboard. You kind of skateboard down a hill with it, and you have a, a rope to help you stay up. And and every kid who grew up in Muskegon like me had one, if you could, Is that because right? Mr. Poppin invented them there, made them there, and we all had them and used them in wintertime, but uh, we also used them in summer down the sand dunes. Oh, it was fun. It yeah. was fun. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Cool. Yep. Great. Well, yeah, and then, you know, the having the luge obviously is a huge draw, and for people who've never done that, definitely get over there and do that this this winter. And but you mentioned too the uh, the lit uh, skating trails. Talk about that a little bit. Yes, there's a about a half mile skating trail that goes through the woods at the Winter Sports Complex, and it's lit eight feet wide and uh, people can just have a great time skating through the woods and uh, on several Saturdays throughout the winter season they have something called uh, dine and glides out there uh, that have gourmet meals and refreshments as people skate and uh, ski along the trails in the winter sports complex so it's a really fantastic event and they're always trying to think of new ideas and new ways to get people out to enjoy uh, Michigan's winter yeah. You know, the skating trail idea is such a great idea. And, Isn't you know, it cool? Well, yeah, because, you know, you go to a skating rink, whether it's indoor, outdoor, whatever, but it's typically, you know, it's limited space and you go around in a circle, you know, and bumping into people. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> sure. But to actually be kind of out in the woods and skate, what what a cool thing. So, if, mm-hmm. if, again, if you're into to ice skating at all, um, that would be a must do also mm-hmm. this winter. Now, you also have a bunch of, uh, of other special events coming up, right? You want to talk about some of those, Bob? Yes. Uh, we have Snowfest, and that's sponsored by the Greater Muskegon JCs, and that happens January 29th through February 2nd. And uh, they have a chili cook off, children's events, snow volleyball, and a number of other events, uh, live bands at night under tents. Uh, they close down some of the streets in downtown Muskegon. It really brings out a lot of people and provides a good. Uh, fun event in the middle of winter, really, uh, when things are dark and, and cold, but it becomes a, a very warm place for people uh, with the activities that they have going on there. And uh, they can people can find out more about that at muskegonsnowfest.org. Uh, we also have the Muskegon Museum of Art has a couple of installations there now. Uh, Remix uh, is the title of their new permanent collection. They have a number of new pieces in the museum uh, that they pulled out of their collection and are displaying them in some cases for the first time. Uh, If you haven't been to the Muskegon Museum of Art, it's a great place to take your family or your significant other uh, uh, sometime during the week or on the weekend. Um, 
And for a museum of its size, it just has a fantastic and large collection. Uh, they also have a, an installation called Innovators and Legends, and it's Generations in Textiles and Fibers. So that's a fiber and textile show running through March 17th. Uh, the Alley Door Club provides blues and jazz uh, throughout the winter season on Friday nights, select Friday nights. Um, where Usually. Where is that place, Bob? That's at the uh, Hilt Building in the Froenthal Center. So it's right in downtown Muskegon at 3rd Street and Western Avenue in uh, the building that adjoins the Froenthal Theater. Uh, people can rent table, uh, not rent tables, but reserve tables there um, and have food and refreshments while they're watching great blues and jazz entertainment. I'm hearing really good uh, reviews on uh, the Alley Club. <laughs> mm-hmm. The Alley Door Club. Alley That's Door Club. One. That's cool. Right. Yeah. Um, for children and families, too, we, we have a really interesting place. Uh, roller skating is still alive and well. And Jumpin' Jupiter Roller Rink here in Muskegon at 1775 Evanston Avenue um, provides a great number of activities uh, during the winter season uh, for people to go out and get some exercise and have some fun. They have lots of kids and family-type events there. So that's Jumpin' Jupiter Roller Rink. Um, and then another event out at the Winter Sports Conference Complex on February 3rd is uh, is the Michigan Winter Triathlon, and that's luge, cross country skiing, and speed skating in a competitive environment. So people can wow. go out there and uh, race against their friends and other acquaintances. People really from all over Michigan come to this event, and that's Saturday or I'm sorry, Sunday, February 3rd, again at the Winter Sports Complex. Yeah, there, can, there's there are so many of these you know really active. Yes. things happening in the Muskegon area, even in the wintertime. There are people are really embrace the winter here in uh, Muskegon County and throughout Michigan, I think. Um, it's just a great time to get out and, and explore um, areas that you may have never seen uh, in the winter, you know, and, and it looks, you know, it's, it's a different perspective, but it's also a great time to come out and just get some exercise. Well, and having that uh, winter sports complex, again, with those kind of unique experiences that you really can't do many places, I mean, that is a great draw, obviously, for you and for the community uh, during the winter season. It is. Um, we do have another thing that's kind of interesting. One of the uh, older buildings here that's uh, currently undergoing a renovation um, has decided to open a winter farmer's market. Uh, we have a traditional summer's farmer, summer farmer's market that goes into the fall and early winter season, but they've decided to move that indoors to one of the old structures here in Muskegon. So that's a really unique uh, um, attraction that folks can visit here on Wednesdays and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And that, again, is right in downtown Muskegon at Western and 2nd Street. Bob, where is the, um, I see you're having the fourth annual pond hockey tournament again uh, this coming February. Where Where is that held? That's another one up at the Winter Sports Complex, Dave. Well, you know, I think people are really looking for hockey these days for obvious reasons with the <laughs> NHL True. issues. Yes, uh, and there's some, if Pond hockey is just a blast. If you've not seen it, uh, really highly recommend you, you consider that. It is, and what they do is they, they freeze a couple of areas over at the Winter Sports Complex, actually two or three ponds out there, and uh, they just have nonstop hockey, hockey action with teams really from throughout the Midwest uh, that come to the Winter Sports Complex just, to compete. You bet. And, well, it's, you know, and there, of course, there are so many other things happening in the Muskegon area. You can just go on and on and on. Um, and, in fact, we want you to check them out. Go to uh, the website, visitmuskegon.org for more information on all the winter activities in the Muskegon area. We would like to thank uh, Bob Lukens, Community Development Director for Muskegon County, for joining us today. And uh, we'd like to thank uh, Mark Blackwell for engineering. On behalf of Michelle Benash, back at the office, George Zimmerman, and myself, we'd like to thank you for joining us today on the Travel Michigan radio program. I uh, invite you to uh, tell your friends to join us next week, right here on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at michigan.org.